So kicking off our terrible series, we wanted to take a look at the realm of television or more accurately, black television shows. Now, while a lot of our stories and our characters may not be the most prominently or positively shown, one thing you can almost always count on is us coming correct when it comes to the music. That's why we're gonna be focusing on theme songs featured in black TV shows. So go ahead and play my music. What's really good guys, it's your boy Spider-Man, it's AKD man, your man. And I'm sitting here with our terrible series, episode one, we're gonna be taking a look at these black TV theme songs. Now, before I started this project, I didn't really realize how many shows that this would be. So we're gonna have to break it up into two parts, going from the 70s to the 90s for part one, and then the modern era for part two, all the 2000s and beyond. Now, if you'd like to go ahead and follow along, I already put the link down in the description below to our tier list. And also let us know if we missed out on any particular shows. This is not an exhaustive list by any stretch of the imagination. And also I'm an idiot, so I tend to miss a couple of things here and there. It just happens. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Since we're starting in order, let's go ahead and just jump us off with 227. No place like home. Yeah. They thought uh, they threw the awoos in there. We won't get by with no same old way. No face like with your family around you, you're never alone. When you know that no place like there's no place like home. I mean no place, child. No place, child. All right there. All right there. All right. All right, now, before we even get started putting 227, I got our list right here. We go from a banger all the way to just straight up skippable. Banger, earworm, just kind of decent, a little mid, and then just straight up skippable. For 227, though, that was jaunty. It got me feeling hot in my spirit. So you know what? Throw that into the earworm category. 227, right there. Next! Up next, we got a different world, and this is gonna be a little bit more difficult because we got three different particular intros, which same lyrics, yes, but like different vibes. Let's go ahead and sample all three of them. I know my parents love me. Stand behind me, come what may. I know now that oh, look at that bluesy riff right there. Because I finally heard First of all, Marissa Tomei? I forgot she was in this. You know what? I ain't fronting. This, this is actually pretty fly right here. See, I didn't watch. I didn't watch season one. That's the thing. From where you come from. Now this is the one I remember. Went from blues right there to the R&B. It's a different world from where you come from. She done hit that note. Damn. And where you come from. Oh, see, I remember that in part. So, that, so this, this one that really like got right into the 90s. I mean, they jamming regardless, man. Like all versions are like are slapping at the moment. We can take it. You know what, friggin', I, I'm not even gonna sit here belabor the point. That's a banger. Wait, wait, wait. I know that run. I know that run. Hold on one second. Wait, wait, wait. I know that. Hold on, hold on one second. We going, we going, oh, no, 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 no. We going back on that one. That was, that was a boy cement ass run right there. Hold on one second. No, no, no. Hold on one second. That, no, no. 
That's a, that's a boy cement ass run. I gotta check something real quick. Hold on, pause. I was right, boy cement. That that run right there, that that one right there, got me. That's a banger. Fuck everything else. That's a banger. Next. Now next we got a man. This came out the year that I was born. Didn't even know it lasted five seasons. Has the boy Sherman Helmsley in it. So you know what? Let's just jump right into it. You know, I, 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 I'm going to hell for this one, but like, uh, shine on me, shine on me. I mean, we, we a gospel family over here, so I, I can't not like this one. I go to, I go to hell if I don't put this in the banger category. Oh, they jamming on this. Come on now. It's kind of cheating though, because they threw the. You can't, you can't go wrong with gospel. You can't go wrong with gospel. It's kind of cheating. They're going hard. Next. Since we're basically going in alphabetical order in the first place, we got ourselves between brothers. Lasted a couple of seasons. It was actually getting closer, closer to the 2000s. But since it just made that 90s cut, it's in this particular list. So let's go ahead and throw that ears on. I mean, I can, I can vibe with it, but like, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't giving me nothing right now. Also, the Between Brothers don't help it. I'm sorry, but the Between Brothers, y'all, don't really help it. That's going to be our first decent. Just decent, decent, decent. I, I got no problems with it, aside from, you know, the, the, the ad lib. But it, it, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's, uh, it's okay. Next. Y'all already know what time it is. Let's just... Of the grand design, some people say it's even harder to find. But there's some, some magic clue inside these crystal balls. I don't even know the lyrics. Fuck it. <laughs> I can't even front. I can't front. I can't. I can't. I can't front. I can't. I refuse. I, re I refuse. I, I refuse to front. All right. So I'm stuck because nostalgia is gripping me. This was TGI Fridays. I mean, uh, T TGIF TV, ABC, whatever, whatever it was. That was me growing up. And like every time you heard that, -do 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 like everybody would run to the TV because it's time to see Carl Winslow and Steve Urkel and everybody do their thing. It's, it's, it's not fair because like I want to hate this. But fuck it, <laughs> it's an earworm. Don't don't you know what? Don't don't even y'all y'all do your own anyway. Next, from Television City in Hollywood. You know what? I don't even need to wait for this one. Y'all know what it is. The bangs. Keeping your head up above water. Making a way if you can. Hanging in a challenge. Ain't we lucky we got them? Boom, boom, good times. Then go ahead and hit that note for me. Go ahead and hit that note for me. Like, what can you say? That that goes at the top of the list. It's it's right up there. How how you how do you how do you hate that? Next. All right, up next, we got ourselves Grady, which is supposed to be a spinoff of Sanford and Son. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. See, this is this is also kind of unfair because it's like stuck in that stuck in that. It's like stuck in a time machine right now. And because of that, I can't I can't go be above a mid because it's not give me something to groove with.
but yeah, Grady, nah, it's it, it wasn't doing nothing for me. Wasn't doing nothing for me. Uh, yeah. Next. Now, one of the biggest problems with trying to find a good theme song is like some of them have had like multiple over the run of their whole series. And it's hard to find like the best one or even a good quality one. So it's the best I could do for Mr. Cooper. I forgot Raven Simone was in this. Sorry, y'all. Mr. Cooper, go right next to Grady. Go right next to Grady. It, this is this is happening too late in the century to have this 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 level of whackness. Matter of fact, I mean at least at least with Grady, like you know, I I could say that it was a product of its time. No, no, we moving we moving you back. You demoted, Mister Cooper. You skippable. Next. I thought this was a fever dream. Turns out it's real. And I'm I'm not disappointed at the people who created it. I'm disappointed at y'all for allowing it to happen. I was too young. I wasn't in the country. I was out of here. I had one TV channel. Y'all let this happen. I blame you. This is how it all began. The true story of two good friends. Since the age of five, it's been their dream. <laughs> that introductory ass intro thing. I <laughs> I mean, at least it let you know what the show was about. That's one of the things that I love about these these introducing you to, to the show theme songs, where it's just like, hey, here's exactly what you're going to watch, what's going to happen. All the mishaps is going to go down. Frig it. There you go. That's a skippable one. Next. All right, for this next one, I don't even need to put the ears on. I already know what this is all about, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, move you over to the banger side of everything, but... Let's go through, let's go do our due diligence. In living color. Come on through, Heavy D. You killing this man. Come on, now, how do you not vibe to this right here? Like, no no debates, not, not to belabor any points. That's a banger. We're moving on next. Now we're starting to get into some of the more unfair ones because now we're starting to have, like, you know, actual musical artists doing their own theme songs to the show. So we got in the house. LL Cool J got this one, right? Right? Let's go. No doubt. No dicky D. No doubt. No dicky D. No doubt, baby. No dick. Ah. This, this is a groove. It is a groove. It is a groove. So, see, the problem with LL Cool J being there and a musical artist and actually able to work on his own damn theme song for his own television show is he ain't do nothing with it. Nothing happened. Just no diggity, no doubt, baby. And the ad lib of, we in the house. I mean, hearing him say that in your ear might do something for you, but not for me. In the house, you decent. You decent. You decent. 
You passable. You good. I ain't hating you. I ain't going to skip it because there ain't nothing happening. So moving on. Next. No introductions needed. We know what this is. We know what's about to happen. Put this in the banger category and keep it moving. Your homeboys and homegirls, it's time for Keenan and Kale. So don't touch that dial or leave the room. Cause I gotta watch Keenan, cause Keenan be scheming with a plan or a plot to make it to the top, but they always in the middle, so they always getting caught. Oh, here it goes. Oh, Nick, 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 Nick. Come on now. That's easily a banger. No, no, no discussions needed. Next. Now, it may seem like I'm just giving like such high scores and praise to everything coming through here, but come on now. We went from in living color, we got Keenan and Kale, and now we got this. It's also another banger. I'm going to put the ears on, but I'm just going to put the score right now. Just, it is what it is. At me later. Hey. We're in a 90s kind of world. I'm glad I got my girls. Like, it's not even fair. But, like, here, here's what I'm talking about when I say when you got a musical artist who's in the show who can do your theme song. You didn't need to pull the whole whole 16 bars, LL, but you could have done a little something. Queen Latifah, the queen, did something real quick and easy. Got you hyped for it. Well, how, how long? How long was that? How long was that? Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Got in there. Got out there. Thirty seconds. Queen Latifah laid it down and moved the frick on. We're moving on. Living single. That's a banger. Next. All right. To be fair, this is one of those shows that I remember vaguely. Like, this was right around that time where I think we caught it more in syndication and we never paid attention to the intro. So this is going to be a new-ish one for me, too. Let's go and jump into it. I mean, I mean, all right, all right, all right, it's decent. It's decent. All right, Malcolm and Eddie, it's decent. Like, it, I got no marks against it. It's nothing that you're gonna gonna write home about. It's not gonna get stuck in your head. But it, it, it also got no marks against it. So, decent. That fits, right? Moving on. All right, this is one of those where there are multiple iterations of the theme song. But technically, there's only like two major variations. So we're going to take a look at both of them and see where we place it. All right, let's go. I ain't nothing to it. They just saying his name. Nice little driving beat. I mean, I can, I can feel this. Oh yeah, I forgot that they changed it up a little bit. So it's, that's all I was wrong. There's three variations. Again, it doesn't really like do anything major for you. The music is doing most of the work. Now this is the one that I remember the most. I remember hating this little mother right here. Little CCI Martin. We didn't need this. Why, why was this a thing? All right. Here's the problem. Martin ain't a banger. Frig it. It, 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 it is an earworm because like now I, I kind of want to watch the show. It's got me vibing with it. 
frick it. We're, we're, we're putting it in the earworm category. If y'all think it deserves to be higher, let me know down in the comments. But for right now, we're going to move on. Next. All right. Now, for this one, we're not going to sit through each and every single one of them because they had like four or five changes to, to the title sequence. So we're just going to do the most recent one because that's the one that I remember the most. That's the one that actually had like, you know, something substantial. So let's go ahead and jump right into it for Moesha. Damn, I keep on forgetting that Brandy can go like this. <laughs> Every version of her intro thing has it ended in the same way and it always cracks me up where she's like vibe and she's dancing and it's like Moesha Moesha but come on now this, it may not be a banger but again this is this is why in the house is staying in the decent column because you didn't do nothing with what your talent was Brandy sitting here going and vibing and giving us R&B that's an earworm I get I get Moesha stuck in my head all often. Let's go ahead, jump on. Moving on. As a kid, because again, I was like six, seven, eight, nine, right around the time that that you know we actually got to watch this show uh, with the family. As a kid, I just remember the show being the most depressing shit ever. But I didn't know that like the the damn intro things was like so light and. Got you, got you into us. Let's go ahead and jump into rock. What the acapella going? They are, they are jamming. You gotta admit it. That's got his own. They are jamming. I ain't gonna lie. I, I didn't like this show when I was a kid, but they is jamming on that one. But as I said, there were two for this show. This is the one that I remember the most. That ain't who I think it is. That ain't who I think it is. That can't be who I think it is. That ain't who I think it is. Hold on one second. Pause. Let me, let me, let me, hold on one second. Hold on one second. We had too much talent in the damn 90s. I knew it. I knew that sounded like in vogue. You know what? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't banger status. But it's definitely an earworm. I almost hit banger status just for in vogue by themselves. So rock go to earworm te territory. Moving on next. What we gonna do right now is go back. Way back. Back in the time. All right, so after hearing that one, you can see where Grady was trying to go with theirs. But for some reason, it just missed the mark. This one hit the mark. That's a that's a damn that's a damn earworm. Not banger territory, but that's an earworm right there. Because now you, if you're watching this, I bet you're gonna be sitting where walking down the street, walking into your workplace tomorrow, just humming bum bum bana, bum bum bana bana bum. Next. Now there were two versions when it came down to the twins, but we're only gonna do the second one because that's the only one that actually you know hit. Anything. 
Let's go ahead and jump right into Sister Sister. Yeah, this one they went off to college. Man, they different, definitely. And my girl Jack K showing up again. Again, nostalgia trying to grip me right here for this one. Frick it. It's decent. It's decent. Nothing completely memorable. Nothing, nothing, nothing out of place. It gets in, does its job. I don't hate it. Decent. Moving on. Next one. All right, before we get started, I know how problematic this one is. We, we, we're, not, we're not examining the show itself. Just the theme song. And they were like, damn, six different variations on it. All of them, except for one, had the same melody. The one that, that didn't had the, the weird improvisational dancing. But but I think it was the uh, uh the Harlem dance group that, that choreographed it. So, you know, I won't call it weird. It was just it was just completely out of place compared to like, you know, how everything went from jazzy, 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 experimental dance back to jazzy and then the last season, it was like very, very, very 90s. But let's go ahead and jump right in there to the Cosbys. What I think is their, their best thing. This one came straight from the South. This is from Stax. You, you, can feel, you can feel the soul in this one. But everyone had the same melody right here. It's also the season that I remember the most. Damn, they're cutting it up. I keep on forgetting that they cut it up on the dance floor with this one. And Lil Raven. This is the best elevator music I've ever heard. Alright. The the way that it's you gotta put it you gotta put it to nostalgia. You gotta put it to how to how it gets you hype for the show. Not just you know audibly, but visually. It's gotta be an earworm. Let's just go ahead and dance on. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna dance, dance past it. Let's just move on. All right, for this one, we don't even need to put the ears on. I got them on anyway, but we don't, need, we don't even need it. I'm gonna throw this over to the banger just because of how it's a cultural phenomenon. That's where, it, that's where it belongs. It's in banger territory. Don't get mad at me. We're gonna, we're gonna move on to, the, to, to the actual video. Hold on one second. Boop. There we go. Let's go. I keep on forgetting they actually made a whole ass song out of this, which, which, which just only makes it better. Like, everybody knows this one. Moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Yo, home to Bel Air. Quincy Jones sticking his fingers everywhere. I don't know, I, like everybody at least once tried that little, little hot little step and walk away. Yeah, banger, moving on. Now this one had two versions, but I think the second one is the best one because just like Moesha, just like Living Single, they had the talent who had actual singing and rapping chops do their thing. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Come on. Ears up. Hey there, how's it flowing? Welcome to a place that never sleeps. Jamie. Jamie, you didn't have to go this hard. You could have phoned this one in. You could have phoned this one in and been down there within the house on decent. My baby girl. All I need. The simple things are all I need. Yeah, the simple things was the better one, the better theme song, like by far. 
like the later season that that was that's that's the one that they sh- they should be running with the whole way through. Not yet a banger, definitely an airworm going right there beside the Cosby's. Moving on. All right, this one this one go hard. It's old school. Y'all know what it is. I'm still stuck on which one I want to put it in. Help me out on this one. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Ears up. Moving on up. Moving on up. You know what? I know where it's going. Beans don't burn in the kitchen. Beans don't burn on the grill. It took a whole lot of trying just to get up that hill. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, nah, banger, banger. Ain't no questions. No question whatsoever. No questions. We good. We good. We done. Yeah, Jefferson's banger. No questions asked. No, 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 no need for anything else. We done. We good. Next. All right, I'm actually kind of mad because I forgot this one even existed. Like, it's not even in my memory banks, and that's what makes it so much worse. So, uh... Let's take a trip down into our repressed memories, apparently. Ears up. All right, this is very 90s. It also is giving me nothing. But hey, it's Reagan Gomez, though. All right, without that saxophone, I probably would have made this one skippable. But it's, it's, it's also not like the best. But hey, face on love. I don't remember the show like that. I want to give it a higher score, but it's giving me nothing. It's giving me nothing. Like, it ain't offensive. It ain't offensive. It ain't homeboys and out of space. Mr. Cooper was just like whackness. Like, I, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm skip. I'm skipping you, Parenthood. I'm skip like your your theme song comes on. I'm hitting the 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 skip intro button. Sorry, moving on next. All right, we got ourselves just a few more left on the list for the for the seventies to the nineties. Steve Harvey, take it away. See, I remember this, but again, it's giving me nothing right now. I mean, you know what? Not gonna lie. What's saving it from a skippable is the fact that it's so short. Like, no, 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 let's, let's compare. Let's compare and contrast. Like an extra 13 seconds for the parenthood. This one's just a nice quick 30 right in there and out there. Images just zip, zipping right past. You know what? It's mid. It's right next to Grady. It's... it's eh. Uh, uh, uh. All right, this next one's kind of cheating since, like, the second one that they had, the second intro that they had was just, like, a nothing one. And this one benefits from a Tribe Call quest. So it's it's not fair to use this, but I'm going to use it anyway. So, Frankie, we're doing it. We're brothers. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Give me a high five. All right, cut and print. Beautiful guys. Dynamite. That is- it's unfair, but I'm doing it anyway. You can't. You can't. This is the this is the one that they use. That's the one that, that I remember the most. Relax yourself. Girl. Please set to down. Now, see, I'm pretty sure this is going to get me copyright struck just because of this. Yeah, as I said, using using tribe is is a cheat, but I don't care. As a theme song, it bangs. Moving on, don't question me. Moving on. I don't remember this show, and apparently it has like a bunch of good people in here. But I don't remember the show. I think it lasted maybe a season, but I don't remember the show. 
So let's let's let's, let's jump in the fear. I've been working hard, two jobs every day. Time to we got ourselves another introductory ass theme song. Gonna gonna tell gonna tell you what the show is all about. And the name and the title. Yeah, we got Brandy up in here though. You know what? You know what? Nah, I'm, I'm moving it up. Moving it up. That they escalated. They escalated on the second verse. All right, they escalated on the second verse, even though it was the same verse. But like, like they 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 hit they hit another level, so it jumps up to decent. I mean, I'll make the rules. Thea, Thea gets a decent on me. Moving on to the last one that we got for this run, and then it's part two. All right, our final one. We got what's happening. Let's just go ahead and round out our 70s to 90s run. Play the music. What is that sound? Ow. Ow. I mean, yeah, no. Before rendering the final verdict, can anybody say that they remembered the intro to what's happening before before this hit? I I'm almost guaranteeing you that if you were trying to go through your memory banks, you were pulling up the Jeffersons, Good Times, Sanford and Son, everybody else, but what's happening. Because of that, it's, it's not offensive, but it is damn mid. And there you have it. There goes all of our theme songs. If we managed to miss any, go ahead and let us know. Uh, if you go ahead and like this video, make sure that you are subscribed to us. Help reach those numbers up. Like any of the content that you do enjoy. Comment down below. Let us know which one was your favorite on this particular list. As I said, you can go ahead and follow along with us. We got the link in the description below. We got part two coming very soon. We're going to have to catch y'all in a bit. Deuces.